Jordan Peterson got suspended from Twitter today. Suspended? Suspended from Twitter for you know some what? sort of a post. I felt like he was trying to get suspended because <laughs> he was going, he was saying some wild shit for like the last six months or something. Well, I think, you know, he's a sensitive fellow and he likes, to, I don't understand why like really smart people want to get into like entanglements online like that, like these exchanges and why they antagonistic things. I, he's, I, he's making points, but like, like one of them. Like, here's one of them that I, I disagree with. And I love Jordan. Let me just preface that. He's a wonderful person. I love him as a human being. I really do. I like him a lot. And I respect him. I think he's a brilliant man. I don't always agree with him. And here, he was, like, talking about this uh, cover of Sports Illustrated. Right. And there was a girl on the cover of Sports Illustrated that's large. Right? She's oh. a sport, you know, she's a bikini model, but she's okay. a large bikini model. Like, how large are we talking? She's not small. Okay. You know, but she's very pretty. Okay. And he and he says, I'm sorry, like, not beautiful. Like, he puts that in a tweet. Mm. Okay, aren't you busy? See, you I, see busy? That's, that's the thing. Is I, f- I feel like he's kind of fallen victim to, to the, something that he was used to be against. And it's like... What's that? Because you don't have to put... <clears throat> Because I feel like I feel like our generation forgets that like you you can't fight every battle. You have a limited mental and emotional resources, and so you you don't have to put energy in the you don't have to put so much energy in the things that you that you hate or disagree with. Right. You put most of your energy into things that you support. Yes. Right. So it's like there's no because nothing comes out of you saying that. That's very wise. You know you what I mean. Call him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have the I don't I I, I don't have the. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to argue with a man like well, what that. You, yeah, you are. You, what you just said, what you just said is correct. It's not that he's incorrect that he does not find that overweight woman attractive. The problem is not that. The problem is expressing it in this way where you say, like, a f- matter of fact, not beautiful. You know, you could say, hey, I don't prefer women that are morbidly obese. That's not my thing. You could say mm-hmm. that. But, but I like to say not beautiful, like... Okay, and, and I already know that about him, right? But my point is, somebody of his intellect, um, I, f- I feel like it's already enough people online going, "This bitch is fat," or "She ain't sh-. right." Right? It's like right. we—I don't need that from you. I need—I need the—I need, the, need the higher thoughts that only you're capable of producing. That's a good point. I don't need you calling bitches fat on on Twitter. I think he's trying to push back against the woke narrative, and he thinks the woke narrative that like fat shaming is bad, and you're not supposed to look at things for what they really are, but look at things through the cultural lens of wokeness, where you kind of pretend things are that's different, it. and but men again, can get pregnant. But that's what we were talking about earlier, right? Where it's like. That's you getting. That's you getting. And I'm not. I'm not judging him for it. It. We all. It happens to the best of us. But that's you getting caught up in trying to win, win the battle and yeah. and lose sight of the war. Well, here's also the problem. That girl is beautiful. She's beautiful. Like, look at her face. Like show a picture of her face. Oh, yeah, she's she, fucking beautiful. Well, she is beautiful. Yeah. She's beautiful. And she's not huge. No, she's not morbidly obese. But there, he's saying I said, I said morbidly obese, but I wasn't really talking about her. I was, I was really like using. But he's her saying example. she shouldn't be on the cover of the swimsuit issue of sports. Right. Coach. There's another woman. There's like different levels of women. He says, "Sorry, not beautiful," and no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. Like, she's definitely beautiful. She's just overweight. But there's another girl that's in the same magazine. You don't have to show it. That's a lot bigger. And then there's other win- ones online that are bigger. It's like there's, there's this thing to have, like, overweight models. And some people get angry at it. And I, that out of all the things that people push back against, that's the one. That's weird like, to me. I like it when a comic does. It's funny. It's if you funny. got something funny to say. It's a funny premise. Like, yeah. Christina P., she's got a fucking funny, funny bit about it. But there's also, like, why, who cares? Yeah. Also, there's mad dudes that love chicks this this that size. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but, for sure. And, and, Skinny guys look like they do heroin. But it's, but it's also like <laughs> it's like, again, you're you're one of the you're one of the world's premier intellectuals, and it's like this ain't. I don't exactly. need you to, I don't need that from you. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't know either. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like if I had if I got a chance to talk to Neil deGrasse Tyson, like I'm not gonna be like, hey, do you think this girl is fat? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 